All right, my cue popped for Breath of the Creator, I believe um, known as AE10. Still kind of like futuristic machine. It looks like a little machine city inside this giant Alexander machine. Just um, pillars and buildings all like metal structures, lights everywhere. But it looks, it looks like industrial. But anyway. Um, we're gonna run along the path, pick up ads as normal. We got a double warrior tank, and I've got a scholar helping me out with the deal. No wait, astrologian? I can't tell. I think it's astrologian. It has cards. Yeah. It has Big old kind of, well, bigger than your normal sized goblin. We ride some like thin kind of gear lines to get to the next one. Good job. Who is not a tank for picking small stuff for no fucking reason? Impaciente. Alright, we go inside this exhaust vent which sparks an AoE. Or not, that's right. Definitely. Interesting music. There's like, this is like a thick, big old metallic gobby with ram horns and a big old sword. It's beautiful. And in we go. You want to not stand on these three circles on the ground. You also want to not really ever be um, at the edges because they're electrified or even closer to the edges because those are, um, you'll get spike kind of shot. He'll turn and he'll do a hand cannon at one party member, so everybody just kind of wants to get out of the way of that line. I believe even that party member can dodge it. He'll jump on a trap every once in a while, a couple of them actually sometimes. The middle trap drops like these big old balls on the trap location, so just don't be there. And then the other one, like I said, don't stand near the edge because you get hit with it. You need to get hit with it. Yeah. And then he'll jump to one side, and we have to start killing this um, roller. And the roller will have a knockback mechanic, so again, you don't want to be standing in an area where you'll be knocked back into a trap um, location. down, back to the main target, big old kind of like ram horn gobble dude. He does have gob rush, rush gob, which I think is like a tank buster. It's single charge. If it's green, you go in. If it's red, you go out. So most of the group did that right. Anybody who didn't. Fine, still. He has an unavoidable AoE occasionally. Red to get out. 
it is a knockback too, so you just want to make sure if you're in, you're not going to get knocked back into something bad, like a trap location. Somebody did the trap that gives the spike. Oh, I wasted my flower. I wasted my flower. Oh, what the fuck was. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, and then when he's almost dead, <laughs> um, you don't want to stand. Yeah, these big old, like, gear things come out with blades on them. Activate a whole bunch of traps, do his gobby cannon, just utter chaos. Of course, if Dragoon dies, because why wouldn't they? And another guy with a marker on his head just chose to stand near everybody, but it didn't seem to be a big deal. Alright, it's down edges of this kind of thin, long fight arena, there were like kind of gates, walls. Walls go down. Big old, thick, armored gobby dude just stumbles and stumbles and falls off the side. To his doom, apparently. I gave you a raise. Maybe it wore off because of the cutscene. Oh, just in case you're still there and you want to race. I don't want to roll. Alright, let's leave and see what cutscene we get here. Excellent work, old friend. This flat platform is our shortcut to the heart of the machine. All seems quiet on our front, so... Oh, seven hells, we've got company. That was Sid. He's just a normal dude. That's the voice I do for normal dude, Sid. I'm sure he sounds more like this. Ah, there you are, Mercy. We were met by a small welcoming party, but it was nothing we couldn't handle. Biggs and Wedge just contacted me as well. They're headed here as we speak. Round rocks, says Mide. She rushes to her. Round rocks, oh, lifts her head. She's alive. Mide smiles. Sid is looking at that, like, perfectly formed cone of blackness. So this is the Enigma Codex. He's looking at also the gears that are kind of like the electronic, like hologram kind of gears that are just spinning as if they're some pattern. Ishtola looks down below that perfect black smooth cone thing and sees some more gears below. And that must be the third and final core. Twelve had mer have mercy if you could see, but see the volume of ether issue issuing from it. Sorry, the stumbling is me, not her. <laughs> yes, much swirly bright time wings can spread, travel to overtimes, make bad things good again. She might be a little bit brainwashed. Could it be? Do we truly have the power to change the past? I could erase my mistakes. I could see him again. Three, three years ago, Mide lost Dear One. Mide wants Dear One back, yes? Round Rocks. Round Rocks helps Mide. Round Rocks, no. You must save your strength. Mide worries too much. Round Rocks is strong, Gobby. Uplanders, hold on to brain cases. Time wings, spread. And that, like, kind of contraption above her head, Round Rocks' head, glows sucks up the electrical green energy from her, shoots it out, the perfect, like, black cone, 
Seven hells, has a girl gone mad? Stop this, Round Rock, stop, I say. The beam is activating the black cone. Which makes that, like, gear thing above it stop turning. Turn orange instead of the blue that it normally is, and then it starts turning the other direction as if it's rewinding time. And everyone in this room is like bracing themselves against whatever energy is about to be unleashed. The screen flashes white after a surge of power in the black cone. And big wedge. One of the goblins came from the name of the cat doppelganger. Uh, Biggs, what, where are we? And why is everything spinning? They both get a call in here. Biggs, Wedge, can you hear me? Round Rocks has engaged Alexander's time distortion mechanism. We're hurtling into the past. Right, row. They look at each other. We're. What? We see Mide and her love and a few others of her group first approaching the just levitating black cone, um, kind of thrusting their hands at it and energy is starting to like emit from their hands and light up the cone and a spectacular display of kind of blinking lights here and there as if nodes on a computer terminal are kind of lighting up and doing their job. And it seems to be creating this rift in the, in the air, and from that rift, Alexander flashes into existence. And they are all happy and celebrating their success. The man Mide was in, in love with smiles at her. And then Alexander's eyes flash bright. And... Oh, Wedge is up there. B Biggs, over here! You're not gonna believe this! <laughs> eh? What's Mide doing down there with those? Hold on, they're performing the summoning ritual. Bugger me, we really are in the past. That was Biggs, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to make him deeper. My bad. What in the seven hells? Someone's taking control of the Colossus. Hold tight. I think it's about to go to b Berserk, says Sid. A, f a few goblins appear from, like, the top of Alexander's head. And they all have guns. And they shoot three of Mide's people. Damn it all! This isn't right! We must abort the summoning! Quickly, Mide! The seal! says Dion, Mide's boo. Their three companions apparently dead at the moment. And Mide thrusts her hands toward Alexander, and this portal in front of Alexander starts to form, drawing things into it, almost Mide until Dion shoves her away and gets sucked into the portal, and the portal winks out. Mide says, Dion! Dion, no! She holds her hands up again at the cone. The, the goblin with Biggs and Wedge is just taking notes in a book. The cat, like, headbutts his butt. What is metal making kitten doing? Backrix is his name, sorry. The cat launches itself at the book that Backrix has. The book goes flying out of his hands, the cat falls also, so the cat and the book fall into the water, presumably. Mide has erupted, erupted, sorry, erected that barrier around Alexander, and just as that happens, Alexander winks out of existence, Mide falls to her knees, just distraught at all of the th uh, everything she's lost in the last minute or two. Backrix is on the ground. Oh, that's, that's Round Rock, sorry. 
Round Rocks gets up. I don't know where from. Finds that shiny stone on the ground. Picks it up. Doppelganger cat was also down on the on the grass and kind of prances off a little bit. Apparently, no worse for the wear. So, might not have been a doppelganger after all. Might have just been the same cat from the past, or from the future, gone back to the past. But yeah, under the dome, Alexander's gone. And that that black cone had like exploded from the power that Mide put into it to erect the the barrier. And from inside, it looks like we're all watching this. Like we're watching the past. But Biggs and Wedge were on the outside, on Al on Alexander's like head, kind of there's a platform up there. It would seem we are back in our own time. Says Yustrola. Past is made right, and we return to now times. Treasure hunters' friends die. As it is writ, as it must be. Uplanders serve Quick Things well today. Quick Things has a book in his hand, similar to what um, Backrex had or was writing in. There's a cat with him. The same, you know, same black cat in some way, shape, or form. Uplanders are not grasping meaning. Quick thinks breaks into bitty pieces, fit in Uplanders' tiny brain cases. Time is flat, round shape. All things Uplanders and Gobbies did, are doing, and will do. Doings happen over and over and over again, for all times. So, when Mide and her friends attempted to summon Alexander three years ago, what they actually saw was us traveling back in time? But that's... that's madness, says Sid. Time is an endless circle. My failure, my pain, my suffering. It was all doomed to unfold like this from the very beginning, says Mide. Like seven? goblins including a few flying ones come up on a platform and rush our group. Let us away, quickly! Yistola. I try to give her at least a little bit of a British lilt if I can. Mide stops short of the platform. Mide! Mide must hurry! Says Round Rocks. She shakes her head. No, nothing remains for me out there. My future, my past, my reason for being... It all ended before it e ever began. She turns off the platform. Mide! Mide! Says Round Rocks. Mide just watches the platform lower. We'll call it an elevator. Seems right. Switch over to Red Mage. Just to get the experience points. Speak to Biggs on like, even though our elevator was going down, I guess somehow that leads to where Biggs and Wedge are on like the uppermost part of the freaking Alexander. But whatever. Chief Yishola and Round Rocks, gods, I've never been so bloody glad to see you. I thought we'd never make it back in one. Wait, where's Mide? Mide stays behind in Giant of Curly Whirly Cogs, and all because of Round Rocks. Round Rocks must go back to Giant of Whirly Cogs. Save Mide. You leave that to us, child. Wedge, get Jessie on that Link Pearl and tell her to bring the Excelsior around. Wedge nods and does, and walks off to do as he's told. Though I don't much care for the answer, we finally know the truth behind the events of that day three years past. The Illuminati masterminded the massacre and, through some ungodly trick of time, twas us that brought them there to do the deed. And what about Mide? The only thing that keeping her go going was the hope that her bow's soul lived on in the machine. But seeing what happened in the, to the poor bastard... Aye, we witnessed the truth with our own eyes, sucked into the core of the Colossus to sate the Primal's appetite. If aught remains of him, it is no more than uh, heat and light. Biggs and Wedge's ex <laughs> excellent adventure, which makes sense because they were the ones who could be seen on top of Alexander during the time dilation, whatever. That's funny. 
let me um, also get a notepad here. So that was Breath of the Creator, Bigs and Wedges, excellent adventure. Okay, and last but not least, we'll do the next quest just to start it. Thus spake Quick Things. Quick Things says the future's already been read, eh? That we're fighting a losing battle? Well, we've got a thing or two to say about that, don't we, Mercy? Round Rocks is safe with us, which means the Illuminati won't be turning back time on us anymore. And that's not all. Thanks to your efforts, we've got ourselves a straight path to the third and final core. Aye, the very heart of the Colossus. Put it out of action, and the whole thing will grind to a halt. Let's go, Mercy. We'll show the Illuminati what th that the future's yet to be decided, and save me day while we're at it. What's this quest called? The heart of the creator is now accessible. That's not what the quest is called. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've read it already. Thus spake quick things. Okay. Just gonna make sure. Oh, I just have to enter the heart. Okay, so yeah, that's the end of this video. Cause that's, I gotta watch the video for the next fight. Just make sure I don't screw it up. And I will see y'all next time.